Photography is more than just a shot. It's the experiences that you go through. It's about the friendships you make along the way, the little details that become a memory when you're going out to shoot. I feel like what makes a good photo isn't necessarily just the photo, it's also the story behind the photo. Every frame is a painting. Photography has been something I've been doing for a long time, and I feel like it's been a huge part of my life. I started doing photography back in 2012 when I was still in like middle school and high school, and I shot for my school's magazine. Started picking up photography again after I graduated from the University of Colorado and moved back to the Bay Area. First time I was ever shooting here in the Bay Area was actually about a year and a half ago. We're actually currently here at Battery Spencer, so if we come a look this way, you can actually see the bridge in the back. I feel like the whole part of my journey as a photographer started right here. There was this one photographer I met in the Bay Area. His name was Keith K. What's Wong. And he was actually the first person I ever shot with. And it was like really cool being able to meet someone that you've never met before, but you've met through a shared passion for photography. I kind of want to do more of that, so I started getting more involved with the community. A huge part of the Bay Area photography community is the Bay Shooters. They would show like different photographers and their shots of these incredible places in the Bay Area. The page was basically the starting point of where I started getting more involved in the photography, especially in San Francisco. Some of the people I really looked up to um, when I first started was actually people like um, Andrew Optics, Mo Marion, Paige Tingey, Paul Clark. All these are like incredible photographers that I started following back in the day when I first started. I really liked their work and I saw that they had like put so much passion and like their work kind of inspired me to keep on pushing myself. I want to get to where they are at. So I would keep on shooting, keep on editing. And I think that's kind of how I got better with photography is just like following their inspiration and their work as to get inspired for myself. I remember like at first it was just for fun. There wasn't like Instagram back then or Facebook or anything. Being able to capture these beautiful memories was exciting for me because I got to capture these positive emotions and memories and share them with all my friends and family and even just for myself to look back on and just enjoy them. So it kind of helped me through some really dark times just being able to like capture these happy memories and it means a lot to me what a portrait's gonna look like by putting my hand through the sun. And if you touch it, really? you start seeing the shadows. But when Instagram kind of first started, I reached out to one of my friends who I saw, he was posting like every day these awesome, really cool photos. He invited me out and we went to go shoot together. And then he introduced me to all his other Instagram friends who also do photography. It was kind of just the domino effect of like us making new friends and like meeting new people. And we all just have to share the same love for photography. I think the community really helps drive that, that passion for photography. Just being able to hit up inspiring creatives to shoot a sunset, sometimes even last minute, and seeing how down they are is truly incredible. Shooting with other people has definitely um, helped me evolve as a photographer. People will give you tips or they'll show you, you know, their creative uh, perspective or a specific frame. I think the best part is that you just meet new people and make new friends. Yeah. And then you go this way. Well, and then you turn the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I started out going out a few times by myself, realizing that that's not really safe. Um, and I would try to go out, and sometimes I'd even wake up for sunrise and try to go out by myself, but it's really hard to motivate yourself to get up early and go out with no one. Um, so I started meeting people through Instagram, mostly. Uh, just other people that had similar passions as I did, and slowly, just after you meet one, you kind of start meeting their friends, and eventually there's like a community that you can start being around. Uh, and that for sure made a big difference for me. Bay Shooters uh, started in 2016 by our founder, Ricardo. The Shooters community originally started in LA, actually. That was the first page ever. Uh, I think it was originally established in 2016, and then from there, uh, LA threw a meetup, and then our founder, Ricardo, attended that meetup, and then from there, you know, Bay Shooters came to life. Uh, we started like meeting with more people, and we made making more friends, and from there, you know, uh, then we asked it like, okay, we need we need more people to make this thing other than just a feature page. Doing these meets brings people together. Recently, I got to meet someone. They told me like, oh, thanks for throwing this meet because like, thankfully I met this other person and now we travel together, we do road trips. I find my group of friends and I'm like, that's amazing. I started going to these places that I see through these posts on Bay Shooters and basically that kind of led me to knowing these incredible locations that I would have never had known before. I think it like really helped me a lot. Um, so I, I definitely started like when I first moved here, I didn't know like too many people, especially not any of my friends are like actual serious photographers. So I started with like kind of shooting along a little bit um, just going to places, uh, exploring myself, but then like it's it can be so different when you're going with people. <laughs> then you have you know much of like um, a play around like the people element that you can add into, and then you can always inspire each other, kind of like the way that they observe, the way that they capture things. Um, there are so many different styles that you see online, and you you you're just like you are like so encouraged to like experiment yourself, and not just like bound to whatever that you are like comfortable with. The photography community in the Bay Area is a very strong one, for example. We have people who come in from different countries or even different cities in the U.S. who come into the Bay Area for a business trip or something and they want to shoot. They meet the different people in the community and they start being, you know, welcomed by the community. And I think that's one of the coolest things about the photography Bay Area community specifically is that people are so willing to show people who are outside of the community and show them like different spots and different like editing tips and just basically a good time. The community essentially is, extends um, way beyond the Bay Area itself. It extends to people who come in and want to go shoot and it basically invites other people to come join as well. So it's never just locked to people in the Bay Area. The Bay Area community and the photographers here have been super welcoming and gracious to me. I've reached out to a bunch of you guys. Thank you so much for meeting me, like a stranger like me who literally just DM'd everyone saying, oh, I'm here for a few weeks, can I just shoot with you guys? And a lot of you guys have been gracious. Now I can call you guys my friends. And you guys have taught me so much about photography in general, have taken me to the best spots in the Bay Area. You guys have been super open to me, have literally opened up like your places, your friends, your community to me. And I just can't thank you guys enough. Nowadays, we have a lot of younger generation of kids on Instagram that are producing amazing content. And I think it's very inspiring seeing all these younger generation of kids putting in the hours, putting in the grind that is shooting and then editing these photos and making amazing actual photographs. It's really cool because like, I wish I did it when I was a kid, being able to shoot and go out and like meet all these incredible photographers. Definitely. I'd have to say my first influence in the Bay Area community, the one that made me like, the one that first got me into this whole Bay Shooters community was Andrew. I remember seeing a picture of his and I was like, wow, this is what I've been looking for like this whole time. And from then I found, I don't know, Colin is really uh, influential. Paul is amazing. 
Uh, Paige Tingy, her pictures are really nice. I used to be pretty shy, uh, especially on Instagram, still kind of am. You know, I don't like to put myself out there too much. But I learned, you know, like, if I really want to make connections and get to know people, the only way to do that is to actively engage in the Instagram community throughout the Bay and, well, far beyond. Honestly, being younger, I feel like I want to get in a lot of experiences now before I become too old. But for now, I'm just trying to get in my experiences and adventures while I can. When I first started out in photography, there were definitely a lot of really difficult moments. I remember being in my bedroom in my house and fantasizing about I wish I had more you know followers I wish I had, I had more likes what if I was you know this good and stuff like that I kept comparing myself I kept comparing myself to all these incredible photographers who have like 17 20,000 followers or even more but I think a huge part of comparison it just takes the fun out of everything so like for me it took me a long time before I started realizing this is more than just a numbers game. You're doing it for yourself. The only person you should be comparing with is yourself. For me, it took a long time to get past that, but once I did, I stopped caring about how many likes I get. I stopped caring about the followers. You just care about your work. And, uh, improvement really shows because you're focusing on your craft rather than all the algorithm that Instagram has. There will be people better than you, but you should use that as a way to get inspired to you know, make better things rather than feel it as competition because the community is what very open and they're willing to help out as much as you know possible. I think I would just say, remember to do it for yourself. Do it for fun. Don't do it for the sake of sharing, but do it because you love it. And um, don't be so hard on yourself. As long as you love the work that you're creating, that's all that matters. Never give up. Technically, that's something that I strive and I keep following. Um, just don't give up on what you're doing. Keep pushing yourself uh, every single day to the limits, you know. Um, because when I started, I, you know, I started shooting on my own. And then my photos were in the gray. But, you know, practice and everything makes perfection. So I continue. I didn't give up, you know. So, yeah, that's one of the things I will suggest for everyone right now, just don't give up. It would be better to just, like, reach out more. Um, you know, it's, it doesn't hurt to, like, reach out and talk to people online or offline, like, whoever you see in the field. Um, so then we take the step further, like, earlier, um, in terms of, like, actually reaching out to the community. And also, I think don't be afraid to just, like, build up, like, that online connections, um, just because, you know, it's whatever that's like online can easily be transferred to the offline too. I guess my first piece of advice would be just to, you know, truly figure out if that's something you're interested in. And, um, and it, when you start off, just you guys just gotta keep shooting and just nonstop. And then you'll slowly, you know, I guess gravitate into your own style. And as far as editing, you just gotta keep editing. I've, I've changed my editing style, like, I don't know so many times and into what's like it's evolved into today you know it's taken you know like three three years about <laughs> so I mean everybody's at their own pace and um, you just gotta take your time and be consistent there's so many different like groups of people within the photography community that you can always find someone that you would get along with or somebody that a group that you fit in with and you just have to be open-minded and like patient about it because um, you can't force friendships and then <laughs> I mean as long as you're open to like meeting new people you'll definitely find that group of people that you love shooting with. Photography can be a very lonely passion because usually you shoot it yourself and you can edit it yourself but it becomes a lot more fun and a more a lot more fulfilling once you get that squad going like that group of friends that you vibe with and once you get those core group of friends, you basically never shoot again by yourself. You're always shooting with a group of friends. You're making memories with these incredible group of people. You're waking up at the brink of dawn, going to 20 miles to some overlooked location, looking over the bridge, for example, and just have a good time. And a lot of times, that's just what photography is. It can be really lonely, but as long as you have people that support you and support your work and like you connect with, it becomes a game that is much more than just yourself. And that's why photography is more than just a shot.